What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the uh, as the United States of America. And to pick up where we left off, uh, we have a suitably apocalyptic start um, to the campaign where I am now at war with all of the native factions. So I've got quite a long front line. Uh, the bulk of my forces are in the south and they're a bit vulnerable because they're a bit, uh, a bit depleted. And I am trying to rapidly recruit forces elsewhere in my empire. Uh, it's up here at Boston. Yeah, there we go. Three units there of line infantry plus Anthony Wayne and a bunch of line infantry here. Uh, we're at peace of Spain, so this stuff should go away. But yeah, we really need to start making some headway on our um, economic development and particularly our military build-up. We, we need to really grow our army up here. The grow army and our navy, really, and uh, start making some, start making some gains, and try and secure the entire U.S. But we are the United States. We have loads of ports, and that shouldn't really be a problem at all. Nevertheless, it must be done. So let's see how the Native American factions respond to our uh, actions. The garrison in Florida should hopefully be able to be pinned in but yeah i just need to recruit more troops across the board of every conceivable type ah and the United provinces are declaring war on me excellent france and quebec you will be called in so now hopefully with france being involved that will cause the united provinces some significant problems uh in in europe because now we have a huge enemy right on their doorstep at war with them. I mean, as long as Austria doesn't screw with our plans. Uh, but yes, we need more troops everywhere. We're going to spend the next few turns just booming our army incredibly, at an incredibly high rate. I'm going to try and focus on replenishing my armies in the south first. But then grow Anthony Wayne's force... Uh, so it can conduct some more offensive operations. Ah, they require attacking Quebec, which is actually useful. Oh, okay. They're either going for Philadelphia or for New York. We can redeploy Anthony Wayne's troops to Philadelphia to hold it, as well as reinforce them with the troops from Boston. Um, but yeah, we need we need more of everything. Everyone's going to be recruiting units for the war. If they take New York, it'll be frustrating because they'll demolish a bunch of buildings which we'll have to repair. But it's not... It's not huge. We can handle it. Especially if our armies in the, in the south uh, start making good gains against the Native American factions there. Nine thousand three hundred. No longer trading with the United Provinces. Russia and Great Britain are no longer allies. In which case, then, let's trade with. Mamluks usually a reasonable one to trade with. That's is Persia, really. Uh, not interested, eh? Portugal. Uh, I'm not going to pay you, no sir. Venice. Not gonna <laughs> if I wasn't gonna pay twenty seven hundred, why would I pay that? Fine, let's cast a wider net then. You don't like us, but you might go for it. Nope. Denmark. Afghanistan. I mean, it's interesting they've actually expanded. Um, oh, have they expanded? I don't think they have actually. Uh, all right, let's try Russia then. Very well. Okay, so these men get down to Philadelphia. This garrison here push down towards Philadelphia. Waiting for your order. Philadelphia itself. Recruit cavalry, because that's chiefly what we want to mow down the Actually let's get a wide a broad spectrum of cavalry here. Yeah, they'll probably go for Annapolis. A bit frustrating, but Ultimately, we just need people to uh, hold in this area. Let's recruit some 
American Infantry Mercenaries. Yeah, that'll probably do. Um, but then here, you're mostly replenishing, but let's take a couple of units and replenish some more. And your green, also replenish as much as you can. And the rest of this income, replenishing. I uh, could take it, but I want them, well, A, I want them to be depleted, and also they've only got one turn left to surrender, so they'll have to attack me anyway. And that's okay. Natural causes, our admiral's dead, and one of our rakes are dead. Very well. This does all look okay. I may have to increase taxes on the middle classes. Just to really boost, well, boost, add about a grand onto my income. Um, but that'll do. If they take Annapolis, at the very least, we'll be able to um, deploy against this army and trap them. But yeah, if we can take Florida, get this area, start to make this area economically productive, and then we can push up and start to hit these territories in the south. That would be my objective. Ooh! Army's there. Okie dokie. Keep on growing. If we can, yeah, if we can get Florida, we can get this, that area, that region turned around and attack. It looks like they are. The United Provinces might. Oh no, they changed their mind. Oh, and they took out the territory, French territory in, on the coast of modern day Brazil, which is quite interesting. Okay, they are deploying lots of troops westward. Yep, here comes the garrison from St. Augustine. So let's prepare to meet them in battle. Yeah, we'll destroy this, destroy this region, reform my army, and continue pushing against the Cherokee. So I need to start uh, adding, <laughs> I need to start knocking out some of my enemies, rather than simply um, treading water, we need to make some forward progress. But because our economy is reusably strong, I can focus almost entirely on um, on the military here. So, raining, so we can have some good old fashioned sound problems. Let's take some of my smallest units, even my regulars, let's group them together like this. Then let's take a few stronger units. Stronger, very loose term. Something like this. You guys deploy out. Okay, let's put a horse artillery unit in the line. Deploy two more units of infantry with cover plus a native unit. Light infantry and continental marines secure the left flank under cover with a native auxiliary unit. Split the cavalry, get my general involved. Okay, you've not deployed, so you can deploy up on this high ground back here. Howitzers deploy together. And, ah, you, yeah, you guys go here. Good. Okay. That should be fine. Where's my general? Make sure I've got them. Yeah, they're, they're all deployed. So let's just let the... Let time tick on. And my howitzers to focus on the lancers. Start knocking some of them down. Get split their fire. A 
Long range shot. Excellent hits there, though. Oh, there we go. Here's their hidden troops. It's time to go stealth again. They will reveal themselves in due course. Blast all these units at close range. That's 12 pounder, just plink at the lances on the flank. Pounder artillery. And it's the shot. Push the lances back. Retarget. Got my new men. Make ready and fire. I got low infantry and marines on the left flank. Particularly interested in my cavalry. Charge them in, see if I can break them. Oh, they're broken anyway. Let's shatter them. Human ceasefire. Shattered, excellent. Oh, they're both shattered. There we go. Let them carry on their merry way. Now they seem aware of the fact that they have to actually do something to stop me. Okay, get the howitzers. Loads of shells not really worth a huge amount. Let's speed up time just till everyone starts to get within artillery range. Yeah, you drop shells onto them. These ones up on the hill, these 4th Regiment keep aiming at this Regiment of Lancers. Lots of cavalry. Just stick with the round shot. They engage the Lancers who have dropped Dip the lances, they're now in the charge. The volleys come in. I mean, the sound effects just make this look abysmal. So make this sound abysmal. So they've charged in. Ceasefire. Send in the native warrior auxiliary to take care of them. I mean, yeah, everything's okay. Pack them down. Oh, that's a bit of blue on blue. Round shot, engage the tribal gunners. There you go. Militia, form up. Native warriors, take position. In the rear. Oh, artillery, form, fire, canister shot into the enemy infantry as it's advancing. Retarget. Hello, boom, and out on the flank. Group my cavalry together. The volleys are going in, and we're breaking the enemy forces. So you men engage the warriors. Hit the bowmen. Okay, I'm going to have to start. Bring you over my left flank. Break the bowman and then run. Okay, no, 
which case then get back. Native troops push up towards the gap. Native American warriors are ready to start shooting. No light cavalry withdraw. Round shot the tribal gunners push in the native warrior auxiliary. Send in the troops. They actually form up again. Redarget the howitzers. Make sure they are pounding the tribal gunners. New men blast the bowmen. New men fire round shot at the chief's bodyguard. Bowmen are running to hit the second bowman. Excellent, broken. Shattered. They charge the bowman with the light cav. Now it says both engage the chief's bodyguard. Excellent. War auxiliary can keep pushing. Basically, make all my artillery pump round shot into the chief's bodyguard. Okay, withdraw. Let's let my artillery do stuff, although it looks like they do want to. This is what they want, my. General, all my artillery ceasefire. There we go. They broke. Our infantry about to break from our own artillery fire. They are about to break from our artillery fire. Not that it matters because it looks like. Hurrah! Yeah, a bit dodgy because some of our key units there were under strength. But the territory is ours. Well, the territory will be ours. Then we can start our offensive. Well, kind of. The big one will be to see what the Iroquois do. Do they... They will probably attack New York. And then they will, they will take it unless we are able to march to their aid from Pennsylvania. But even then, we might let them do it. Because it may still be in our interest to let them, let them, uh, let them take it and then siege them, bottle them up, a trip them, and then mop them up at a later date. Interesting. They went for Williamsburg. So boom, all those buildings are gone. But that's not a massive problem. We got plenty of money. We're just going to march that army south and siege them. And then as they, well, keep sieging them and then slowly grow our forces with more artillery, more cavalry, skirmishers, marines. You know, this is very much like the early stages of World War II. The enemy may get some advantageous quick gains, but in the longer term, our production is just going to overwhelm theirs and then we will annihilate them. Russia is moving towards Finland. Oh, Denmark survives. They might be going to Iceland, which if they do, that's pretty neat. You don't normally see people actually invade Iceland unless the human player controls it. That's blocked. Nathaniel Green. Yeah, that's fine. You guys. Boop. Sit there just for now. I'm um, just just because I want to make sure I make sure I do do that. I just want to keep on um, with my other plans. So Florida, 
Okay, how much is it going to cost to replenish you guys? A lot of money. Ready and awaiting orders. Forward! 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 Okay, you're going to advance out into Ready, the sir. area, but you're probably not going to actually start and fighting. Forward. You're going to get recruiting... Actually, you're not going to get... Not, not, you are not going to get recruiting of anything, because we need to mop up these fellows first. So let's just let, let you guys replenish. Let you guys also replenish. You're just 2,000. So Philadelphia, we are going to boost our forces with some Hessian line and rangers. Settlement. And then we're going to attack the force here at Williamsburg and destroy them. Make them rue that... Actually, what I might do... No, I just need more troops. I was going to Settlement recruit undersea. some artillery to try and bolster this force, but I don't think we can. Um, well, look, well, I don't think it's the, the best option. We just need mass. We need more troops. We need more troops and we need some decisive victories. Which I think, pushing in towards the Cherokee, we will now start to get. But I think it's important that this, this army of the north maintains their aggressiveness because we can't allow the enemy to mass. Okay, the, all of our cavalry is going to be together on the right. We're going to advance rapidly into a good position, push our cavalry up first. They've got lots of bowmen. You can just hear them, hear them all moving around here. The brave American troops are storming up. Push my colonial light cavalry forward. They're going to start skirmish. I'll start to check the area in front of the army. For stealth units. Just keep checking, because ultimately these three units can push up as it's clear. Bingo. Run the infantry up. Group the cavalry back up together. They're gonna, they are going to just about get into our field of fire. So they are... Push around behind them, force them to get uncomfortable. Although it looks like we are going to start getting... We are starting to get them to commit. We want to try and gobble up this first unit. This first cluster. That's all the bowmen to the rear. Smash him. Shattered, withdraw. No, not no one's you guys. Let's 
store map, general advance. Camber up together. Get ready to storm in though. Not really too nice to actually will storm in. Point blank range. And they're running across our formation. Is that you know the flanks come back? Are you broken? Broken. Shattered, shattered. Okay, you men push that way. men storm in. Don't let them say that you have retreated from a fight. And you men all smash that last unit of warriors. All that. You men charge the back of the Native American warriors. Kill the enemy general. Unsurprisingly, that massive block of cavalry is just all powerful. Advance, storm the bowmen. The 13th Regiment of Foot are going to cause some pain. <laughs> just a disapproving look. There we go. We got him. Their penetration into the US has not served them well. Excellent. So yeah, this army in the north is going to be uh, chiefly defensive. Okay, good. It's got us a bit of that cash back. Still around 6,000. Because we're trading a lot. The new men are going to immediately start moving back to Philadelphia. Push some troops up towards Albany in case they get a bit tempted to advance. Although you guys may end up getting up, getting group, collecting together at Albany, then striking west towards Cayuga, Nicaragua, just beginning that offensive. Um, you guys are holding. Okay, everything else is okay. Can't do much about building. Virginia. I mean, Virginia was retaken, it wasn't really ours to capture. Continue with the new model bayonet drill. Okay, right, 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 right. Let's hit M10. Go back to gathering troops because I think they are actually being they're being raided by the Iroquois, so they aren't entirely focused on trying to take us out. They are also attacking our allies, which, on one hand, isn't good. On the other hand, is excellent. Looks like the British are failing to clear their ports, so trading can will, be, will continue to be limited. Their provinces have got an invasion army ready, but they don't appear to want to use it. I think the Cherokee have... They've deployed the bulk of their forces and they have lost them in one Pismic engagement. I think that is good for us. It gives us a bit of an advantage. It gives us the initiative in the south. Because then with our army, as it replenishes, they will get to pick their engagements. Well, the French have broken their, lifted their blockade of Britain. So we sh might get a bit of extra trade. Uh, yep, here comes the Iroquois. They are not going to give up. They're not going to allow us to, uh, to forgive the attack on their allies so easily. Uh, however, I do think it is going to count against them in the long term. We've got another collection of troops being recruited at Boston. They can push up 
towards Albany. Uh, our army that's just won. You want an alliance? No, because you, you... No. No. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No alliance just yet. I've got my hands full trying to secure the continent. I cannot start getting involved in foreign conflicts. Oh, is the Ottomans' turn going to proceed reasonably well? Looks like it's going okay. Um, but yes, we need to push against the Cherokee. Take some of their cities. Well, I mean, with the Cherokee, because they've got two, set, two cities and one next to the other. Well, even then, actually, we might get bogged down um, in the south trying to maintain our hold on those territories. So it may be advisable to try and get some dragoons down there. Because dragoons do get bonuses to... Well, they, they do get garrison bonuses. So I think one unit of dragoons can just, counts for as two... Well, you get two um, units of repression from one unit of dragoons. So it is more efficient. Although I suppose it's probably an argument. Well, I mean, you can probably maximise the repression that your army produces, but it might be still more efficient to use cheaper units because dragoons aren't cheap enough themselves, but they're not super expensive either. I don't really quite know how the maths works out, but I wouldn't be surprised if, if you've got lots of money, dragoons are great. And even then, dragoons are still useful if you need to tip a city over the edge. So if they're you know on the cusp of rebelling, a few dragoons just to keep the peace is quite all right hey ah oh, georgia's just ruined some of our trades yeah down to four thousand ready for yeah so where do you want to go huh oh you guys can you guys bolster the forces at albany hey, You men recruit an artillery piece each. We need to get this magistrate back up at Williamsburg. A trade port would be tempting, but I don't think we can go for it right so, now. So you're still replenishing. You can advance up towards St. Mark's. Okay, I think I want to get... Basic roads and yeah, minimum 150 men, just not great. You're probably better off with a unit of militia because you get. I mean, minimum might be mar yeah. Actually, the the higher accuracy, lower reload skill, more ammunition than militia, but you get 300 guys compared to 150. So, Corlin's risen. Boston, I can get some skirmishes. But I want to see where you go. And actually, what you could do with, but you can't get yet, is a unit of uh, cavalry. Can't get anything from anywhere yet. Get a unit of militia, because I think we need it. Sir, your orders? Still replenishing. Send yes. you guys up to here. Well, no, you, oh, I like keeping them here because they can so. kind of. This unit moves in, does stuff. Although, to be honest, I shouldn't wait. Attack this individual unit. Do it properly. Mop them up. Maintain the pressure. Don't give them the breathing space they want. I might want breathing space, but it's better for them to get it than me. So it, it's in my interest to maintain the offensive. So let's keep on. We might end up doing the same thing to those troops that are driving south in a column. Yes, sir. I mean, just combine. 
line. Just build my line. Put all my artillery up here who are going to focus on the chief. My cavalry are going to wait till the infantry are dead to wipe them out. Everyone else just hold back here. the chief's bodyguard. Yeah, they're already starting to run. And where is the bow unit? It's going to be somewhere in the trees. just out of my most of my artillery range except for my 12 pounders oh, coming back Ho hopefully we can kill the general and wipe the unit out charge the bowmen. Encouraged because the general is alive. You see, not, not that he's particularly good, not that you think, oh good, he's a good general with that, he's about, you think, just thank Christ he's alive. Actually, this, yeah, this is weak cavalry, to be fair. Provincial cav. Run along our line. Bring them into our the range of our musket arm troops, then you'll about face. And charge again. Oh, no, fire at will, please. Fire coming in. Smack the bowman again. Just don't let them mass. ceasefire. Jump on the chief's bodyguard as he's here. Although well, it looks like he is going to get away. Yeah, we are going to continue. Cavalry pursue the chief. I'm just kind of hoping that he's just more tired than I am. He is shattered, but not enough. Yeah, I think he was going to successfully... Oh, no, maybe. It depends if he's part of that group. Yeah, we got him. Just at the last minute. Excellent. So that's a couple of units destroyed on the campaign map. And do whatever little replenishment you need. Then we're going to do the same again with these guys and attack and force them north towards Chikasa. Yes, 
you may be able to get emergency redeployed if that is required. I want to see what you do. Although actually, I don't really need you need artillery because you're sufficient. You're not a massive, massive uh, army. You could do with just more bulk, more bulk, and then just defend this northern area. And this army can drive in through here. I think that's a good plan. Okay. Let the end turn phase tick on once more. Britain's on the march again. Yes, they managed to beat the French Navy. I just really hope I get access to a bit more uh, trade this turn. I mean, it didn't help to keep losing um, Virginia, because it probably lost me tr some trade relationships, and it also lost me goods. Uh-oh. <laughs> so there goes my plan of using, relying on the French to counterbalance the Dutch declaring war on me. There we go. They're going to put this. This is the reason why I wanted that army north. Well, not the army north. I wanted Nathaniel Green's army to be in a bit of a better position to respond to any raiding. Meanwhile, our Grand Army of the South can continue to push. Everything seems to be progressing reasonably well. The rest of the world's a bit screwed up. But yeah, I could very much do with having some of the Native American factions annihilated. The French are abandoning the university. Prussian Navy's putting... See, have the French taken a territory in Eastern Europe? Yeah, raiding. That's a that's going to be a particularly hurtful raid. That's going to have really impacted our income this turn. Okay, there goes Afghanistan. There goes their turn. Uh, do I need to start contemplating making peace? I think. I think we need to try and make peace with one of the Native American factions. We don't not make don't make peace with both of them. Just try and make peace with one of them, so we can knock out the other, and then go after the remaining actor. I think that might be the best objective. Well, I suppose technically by taking out the... Taking Florida, we've secured our gains that we wanted from the Cherokee anyway for the time being. Hmm. Might be worth a shot. Because I don't know if we can push through the Cherokee as fast as I'd like. Especially once we take their capital cities in the... Their, their people will be quite resistant to our... Our, um... Our governance for a period of time. So those armies won't actually be free to defend the north anytime soon anyway. Mm. I think ideally, yeah, see, down to 1900. That's quite a significant trade post. Down to 833 next turn. So I think what we have to do is say, hey, Cherokee. Wait. Yeah, there they are. I thought, yeah, I thought so. Soon I have wolves not in my gut. You're a confederacy, please. Oh, they both agree. They both really don't like it. Understandably. 
Peace and trade, little bit of money. Ah, fair enough. Right. You guys are going to have to... Well, you can retake lose. I'm not going to be able to do any more investment. Men, forward. Yes, sir. You're going to have to push, take out this force, then advance up towards Chikasa. I can't afford to invest any more money into my military industrial complex. I mean, you you won't... You can hold off that army, but you can't attack. Okay, let's go and secure Luz to get the trade port back up. I'm hoping, because we are engaging the enemy in these... You know, attacks on cities and attacks on um, infrastructure their armies are being destroyed every time so there is a limit to how long they can keep this going question is can they keep it going longer than i can we just need to try and win these actions with as minimal losses as possible Slowly and with caution. Try find the enemy troop concentrations. Because they're not going to necessarily be back there. Something like this. Advance carefully. Keeping eyes glued on the radar map. He's not moving fully into position. Bing putt. Attack the chief's bodyguards. Is they currently? Yeah, there they are. Get over here, Curacier. Attacking the Chief's Guard themselves is fine. Attacking them with other units coming in, these guys will need to run. Gracier, go for the Lancers. You may need to run. We start relying on our massed firepower. The you men charge into the lancers to help give them the helping hand. by the musket men. There we go, starting to gnaw away 
Uh, their Lancer contingent. There we go, got them shattered. Push the infantry up, Cuirassier, get out on the flank. Got a good volley into the Chief's bodyguard. Opened up the left flank. They study what we pick apart these musket men. The enemy appear to not know quite how they want to form. We need to push up to the higher ground to begin getting a musket advantage. Get the cavalry wider on the flank, move my general up. Oh yeah, they really don't know what they want to do. As a result, we will pour fire into them. We reloaded. Let's make my general move around the edge. Okay, you just smash straight in. You're curious here, that's what you do. Sierra are our heavy hitters. We pull them back out. Pursue the medicine men. Being fired upon by many enemy units. Charge, it was a bit silly. Oh, there we go, they're all running. Excellent. I'm going to continue just to make sure they definitely do or oh, the route as much as we can make them out. Kill as many as we can. Okay, all of you guys give up these garrison bowmen, but they are going to route Still, the victory's a victory. We've taken the port. We can get it repaired. Now oh, they did see they have survived, some of them. Continue on. Slaughter them. Then pull back. Let's get the port repaired as a matter of priority. You chaps replenish as much as you can. And get back. Um, yeah, so you you can spar with these units as they try and run around and rout. You're going to run in and attack this Scambius. Yeah, let's, so let's, let's wrap that up now. The episode's not quite over yet. But yeah, this army can keep on um, pushing cautiously against the Cherokee Heartland, take it, and then they'll start to, start to pressure... Uh, the enemies to the north. So this time with my infantry, we're going to advance until we see them. 
give them a few volleys and then chase them down with our cavalry. Everyone else just stay where they are. In my cavalry attachment. Fundamentally, we're only looking for them to break. That's when my cavalry does the rest of it. There we go. Another war society are under fire. They didn't do something soon. They're going down. There's their hidden unit. mob them because they are routing towards their support you go suddenly right oh oh holy moses that's not good at all charge but whether or not they, they follow through with it it's another question there we go now we're ready to put some bollies into the medicine man is the 6th regiment's ready, the 1st regiment's in position. Oh, and you're tired, but you got to do it. Bring a light horse unit back. Charge into the rear. Light cavalry, fast cavalry, storming down the hill, right into their back. Oh, just... Taking no chances. Got him. Excellent. Minimal thus. We can't Army. do that, sir. Advance north. Sir. Yeah, you're in a you're gonna be in a position to start knocking out some of these Cherokee units. This area is a little bit dicey. I mean I got I got a reasonably good garrison here, so I don't think you're strong enough. Ready for we are going to bring you back and get the ship ready. back into port. 300 next turn because even more of our trade is blocked. We're going to have to increase our tax policy again to get an extra 1,000. But at least our trade port is secure, at least for the time being. <laughs> the Paris states, so straight to that Russian ship. We'll take you out. Oh, no, we won't. Yeah, more.
more Cherokee raiders, but it looks like they are also falling back to their capital to try and defend it. Woof! See, I thought our garrison was going to be strong enough. They didn't immediately go for us. Uh, no. They laid siege to the city of Pennsylvania, but they didn't immediately attack it, so they, they, their uh, confidence is not that high. Portuguese ships are on the move. Ah, they're just raiding. Venice is probably going to strengthen its blockade. Yep. Zero. Because Pennsylvania is under siege. You guys are immediately within range. Storm up. And attack. Mahaska. Where? Hey, pal, where's the Mahaska? There we go. Get a good garrison. We're going to definitely fight this, but looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the continued adventures of the United States. Cheers, everyone.